news today about a problem that hits one in every 110 kids in the U.S. So far, there's been no true diagnostic test for this disorder. New research suggests that measuring brain activity might be the answer. Watching these two young brothers play at a park near Lowry Park Zoo, you would never know that one of the boys has a common disorder that left him at one point unable to play or even communicate. We would go to a playground and um, all the other kids his age uh, and younger would be playing around and climbing and Levi would just sit there. Kimberly La Rochelle's gut instinct told her something was wrong with her infant. It was just so hard, you know, knowing in your heart and, and struggling. What's wrong with my child? What's wrong with my child? Years and years of doctor appointments later, experts finally diagnosed Levi with autism spectrum disorder. A study in the journal BMC Medicine suggests that it may one day be possible to predict which infants are at risk of developing ASD based on patterns of brain activity. The author studied 79 infants, some at high risk of autism. They measured their brain waves as they watched a researcher blow bubbles. The pattern in the high-risk group was different. Dr. Nelson Manier, a chiropractic neurologist, explains the significance of that. If they can find a marker like that, that will give us something to do, uh, have early detection so we can get early intervention, that always produces the best outcomes. Since starting therapy with Dr. Manier, who uses non-invasive exercises to stimulate the areas of the brain that he thinks are weak, her son has started running and playing and interacting with others. Kimberly, if this test had been available to you, would you have taken it, and how important would it have been? Oh, my goodness, if I would have only had that, we would have saved so much time. We could have gotten on the road to treatment and to recovery a lot faster. It's too soon to tell if the system will actually predict ASD. Researchers will have to go back and see if the infants from that high-risk group actually develop autism. To read more about the study, though, and see a list of what puts a family at risk of having a child with autism, head over to my Facebook fan page and leave a comment. And if you're not a fan yet, just click the like button at the top of the page under Linda Hurtado, Public Figure.